The zebra midge. Hands down one of my favorite flies of all time. In fact, you would be surprised at how many big fish I've caught on such a small little tiny little fly. Now when it comes to tying, it's also a winner. I mean, we're talking four or five materials and it only takes a few minutes to tie. It's really simple. So for the materials, you'll need a Scud Pupa merger hook. I'm tying this in a size 16, so I'm gonna pair it with a 332nd inch or 2.5 millimeter brass bead in silver. Then some black 70 denier or 6 aught thread and then some small silver wire. Now what's really cool about the zebra midge is you can change out the thread or the bead or the wire color really easily and fill your box with a wide variety of flies. So that's the zebra midge in a nutshell. Let's get tying. All right, so first things first, you'll wanna get your bead onto the hook. So you can do this with your fingers, but I found it's easier to grip the bead with a pair of tweezers, then slide the bead onto the hook. Keep in mind that the smaller hole goes in front. Next, secure the hook in your vise. Attach your thread by placing wraps back onto the loose thread. This is also called a jam knot. Once secure, snip the extra thread with your good tying scissors. Now we're gonna create a thread base back to the bend of the hook. Then wrap again forward. Time to add our wire. Snip off about a one and a half to two inch piece of wire. Be sure to use your all-purpose scissors or a pair of wire cutters. Cutting wire with your nice scissors is gonna dull or damage them. Take your piece of wire and attach it to the hook. To do this, hold the wire at about a 45 degree angle in front of the hook. Wrap your thread over the wire once or twice, then slowly pull the wire until the end is just behind the bead. Now work your way back, placing securing wraps all the way to where your thread base ended. Now it's time to create a tapered body. Keep in mind that as you've been tying up to this point, your thread has been twisting and twisting. We wanna lay the thread as flat as possible. To do this, let go of your bobbin and give it a good spin counterclockwise. You'll notice that the thread will start to untwist and lay flat once you start wrapping again. Now that your tying thread is flat, let's create a tapered body, meaning smaller near the wire and bigger near the bead. Feel free to untwist your thread as needed. Now that we have a smooth tapered body, we're gonna use our half inch tool and secure the thread in place. With it secure, we can use our bobbin cradle and rotary function on our vise. If you don't have a rotary vise, you can do the next step by hand. Grab the wire with your hand and start to rotate the vise, wrapping the wire as you go. You're looking for evenly spaced open wraps like this. Once you reach the bead, take your bobbin off the cradle and tightly wrap thread on both sides of the wire, securing it in place. You can either helicopter the wire free like this or cut it off with your all-purpose scissors. Now we'll whip finish and snip off the thread. The whip finish should do a good job of securing the thread in place, but if you wanna play it safe, you can add a drop of head cement. 
If you've enjoyed learning how to tie the zebra midge, be sure to subscribe and check out our other fly tying tutorials here. And if you have any fly tying or fly fishing related questions, leave them in a comment below. We read every comment and we'll answer it as quick as we possibly can. Thanks for watching and live real life.